forward on behalf of the government? How do you foresee electric vehicle uh, uh, you know, adaption in India uh, in the next two to five years? So I think we are in the midst of a very big disruption. Uh, EVs are inevitable. They are inevitable because uh, we need to clean up our cities. Protein of our cities are very polluted. And uh, more than anything else, uh, we need to cut down on our import of oil. Uh, the biggest strength India has is in terms of its sun. And we need to do storage of electricity, which renewable electricity, which we produce. And uh, if you look at India, 72% of the vehicles are two wheelers. Another five to six percent are three wheelers. So our whole strategy is to actually you know, push to electric vehicles and two wheelers. And three. Modi has done remarkably uh, big announcements with respect to MSMEs and startups. Yeah. So, taking both the agenda forward, do you feel that the entrepreneurial ecosystem is now at the brink of explosion in India? Yeah. So, uh, our objective has been to create the right ecosystem for both startups. Uh, when we started the startup India movement, many of our startups were going abroad. Uh, they were going to Silicon Valley or Singapore. Now we are seeing the reverse trend. We've been able to create that great ecosystem for startups. We've given a massive push to MSMEs. Uh, we want our micros to grow big and grow small, and our small to grow into medium. We also want our medium to grow into large companies. We've provided all kind of credit, all kind of handholding. Government will act as a facilitator, as a catalyst to make this movement grow and expand. So, what is going to be Niti Aayog's uh, agenda for these next two years while you're in office? I think we'll drive uh, all kind of. Progressive things in India from education and health to a lot of disruption in technology areas, including electric vehicles, including mobility, including uh, mobile manufacturing and battery storage. What would be your top tip for an entrepreneur that wants to start their business today in India? Just be passionate, just be passionate, be committed, and uh, you're in for the long haul. Even if you fail, it uh, doesn't matter, you have to fail to succeed. Many people who succeeded in the world of faith. We in India must accept that there have to be some failure. But uh, in India, uh, there's a lot of top class entrepreneurs, and all these are entrepreneurs are doing extremely well.